morning friends and welcome back to another vlog it's monday morning and i've just finished my workout i usually prefer running but yesterday i went for a long trail run so i thought today i will rest my legs before i injure myself again anyway one of the reasons i thought i will vlog this week is that today and tomorrow i'm attending an event called the ux conference I generally suck at multitasking that's why i don't vlog every week like i cannot do my work and uh, vlog at the same time or maybe i can but i'm not very good at it so yeah i thought this week would be perfect because i'm not doing any design work today and tomorrow but instead i will be attending uh, workshops um, uh, Q and A's. Uh, so I'm very excited about it because it's my first uh, online uh, remote conference. There are a lot of interesting talks. Um, my friend Femke is uh, speaking tomorrow about design documentation. So I'm sure it's gonna be a super valuable talk for the work I'm doing. This morning there are six speakers lined up in the design quiz as well while this afternoon I'm attending a workshop with Aaron Walter. I'm gonna show you my schedule here. Right, so these are the talks and the design quiz before a lunch break. While this afternoon we got a long, it's gonna be a very long workshop, but there is a little yoga session that I forgot to mention earlier. So, right, it's 8.25, so I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and you can come to the kitchen with me. and we just finished uh, with the last uh, session for the day i have to say that all the talks uh, this morning were super interesting so i've decided that i will share uh, something with you so the first talk from dan miller was about uh, making healthcare more inclusive and accessible by black people in the us and Dan shows us some snapshots of uh, the app, this app that they created to support uh, their mission. And the second talk from uh, Benjamin was about UX writing and Benjamin gave us some tips on how to make our copy more uh, engaging and catchy for the user. He also showed us some examples and really cool things that I want to start doing uh, at work. While the third talk from Alex was about using card sorting, the card sorting exercise to find the patterns. And she gave us some tips on how to card sorting and analyze data. This is something that I've been doing very often at work. So I was thinking that maybe it can become the topic for another YouTube video. The fourth talk was from Rachel. Rachel is a UX designer at Google and she showed us how to combine different uh, methods, uh, processes and exercises from the classic design sprint to create our own one where uh, you know we have different sorts of uh, outputs. And the fifth talk was from uh, Nanil, uh, which is, uh, she is a UX researcher at Figma and she talked about uh, diary study, which is something that uh, I, I've never heard much before. So basically, a diary study is a research method used to collect uh, qualitative data about uh, user behaviors where the data is self-reported by participant. Over an extended period of time that can range from, um, you know, just a few days or even like longer, like, uh, like a month or so. And it can be done uh, in uh, like Slack, but uh, this is more suitable for uh, big companies with, with like a, a res dedicated research team. So it might not suitable for, for crunch, for my company. Then uh, we did uh, this little quiz. I got 14 out of 20, which honestly, 
I thought it was a good score, considered that uh, many of the questions were very niche and I had to guess and obviously I got six uh, wrong, but yeah, it was fun to do. Um, and then uh, the last talk from Paul uh, was about uh, testing design solutions and using the data collected um, to gather minimum, mi meaningful feedback. Uh, and he works at uh, Compare the Market, which is like a UK company. Uh, well, anyway, I need to hurry up because my next talk is in 20 minutes and I need to make myself some lunch. So yeah, I'll see you later. It's 6.15, the workshop is just over and I feel like I'm still absorbing information. It's incredible to see how many things you can learn in just uh, one afternoon. The workshop was great. Uh, I feel like uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, I've also brought a list of actionable uh, items. Like one of them is uh, spend more time uh, with uh, our users. Uh, he recommended at least uh, two hours every six weeks uh, and then find moments of uh, delight um, in the um, customer journey and break down these moments into actionable items so i'm thinking about a project that i did a while ago when i created like a long uh, questionnaire and now i'm thinking about how to improve it and make it more like enjoyable for our users we also did uh, the crazy eight exercise i feel like all exercise were really fun to do and uh, we had the yoga break uh, in the middle which uh, you know sort of like helped me realize how much time i've spent uh, sat on my desk today anyway uh it's quite late uh, and i need to make uh i need to make dinner i don't have much time to have like a proper lunch so i'm gonna head to the kitchen help look uh prepare dinner and i'll see you tomorrow Welcome to the second day of this vlog and the second day of the conference. This morning I had a yoga class in my living room, then I washed my hair and I made myself a nice healthy breakfast. This morning there are awesome speakers lined up, um, uh, also Femke. Good luck with your talk, I'm sure you're gonna nail it. And then around 12 I'm gonna go for a little walk because <laughs> I feel like I need to leave uh, this flat. Uh, like yesterday, I literally didn't leave uh, my house. So today I feel like I need some fresh air. Anyway, the talks, the first talk start in uh, four minutes. So I'm going to make myself uh, ready for the day and I'll see you at 12. The last session of the day is just finished and we are now on the lovely Hove uh, seafront where I'm spending my lunch time. I really enjoyed all the sessions, especially because they touch on uh, different topics from uh, user research, uh, A-B test, uh, design documentation, and even game design. I think the one about game design was uh, my favorite one because uh, I don't know much about um, game design and I thought uh, game designers use some like complicated uh, design tools uh, for doing their work, but uh, the speaker actually said that uh, she uses uh, XD, which is the same one I use at work, so it was really funny to find it out. This afternoon, um, I signed up for the workshop about uh, design systems. So it's 12.30. Um, I'm going to go for a little walk and make myself some lunch and get ready for the workshop. Right, the UX conference is just over and I'm so grateful that I chose uh, this workshop about design systems. I got so many ideas of things I want to start uh, doing at work. Now it's 6.30 and I still need to go through today's footage so I'm gonna end uh, today's vlog here but I'm sure I'll see you soon. Good morning, it's Thursday and I'm doing my morning routine workout. Yesterday I ended up closing my laptop at 11 as I was preparing some content for YouTube but uh, I was in the flow and I didn't want to interrupt it. I really enjoy doing this part of the work. I ended up going to bed uh, very late and this morning I struggle at waking up. Anyway, I'm gonna head back home and I'll see you at my office. just made 
myself my 11 o'clock uh, coffee today i'm having an oat cappuccino to celebrate uh, the launch of a new feature that i designed a while ago and it's now live in the crunch app this morning i gave some feedback to engineers what i normally do is to take a screenshot of uh, what they built uh, import the screenshot into um, Adobe XD and uh, share it as a link then uh, add uh, some comments so we can have a chat about it. Today I don't have any meetings which is very rare for me so I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity and try to be as much productive as I can. I'm working on a big uh, new design project um, which uh, yeah I'm super excited about so yeah, without any further ado, I'm going back to work and I'll see you later. <laughs> It's one o'clock and now I want to take advantage of my lunch break to walk you through my XD files. So I cannot show you all the latest projects I'm doing because they're not uh, public yet, but I can show you something else. This is the component library that I started to build uh, a few weeks ago in Adobe XD and this is uh, for the app from the Crunch app. So I started to put together the components because um, as a only designer in the team using XD, I didn't really have a framework. So I kept, uh, you know, copying and pasting components from different projects. But uh, the result uh, was that I was spending more time, like try to be consistent and developers often uh, misunderstood my design. So I've decided that um, it was time for me to create a component library. This afternoon, I'm also joining a Zoom call organized by Figma about how to get started with interactive components. And I think this is just for beta users. They sent us this Figma file here so that we can have a play before the call. So I'm going to spend the next half an hour testing this new feature and see how it goes. it's food time so i'm gonna end uh, the vlog here i really hope uh, you enjoyed it um, and it was helpful to see the behind the scene of a remote uh, conference so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video ciao